Right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make something a little bit better than this. And this is my A-bomb carriage DTI or whatever you want to call it. Uh, two problems here. For some reason I decided to machine that lip off the edge because there was a slight void. And I've actually ballsed it up because it doesn't work very well now. Not that it worked particularly well to start with. And the other thing is that gauge is it's okay but it's a half thou gauge so it's not really any good for what I want. That's the gauge that I had on which as you can see my mate came to see me and decided he didn't like it and threw it across the workshop and it's now knackered. Well he didn't throw it but he knackered it anyway. So what I've got I've got a block which I'm going to square up in a minute and then I'm going to machine 18mm by 18mm out of there and that's going to clip onto the bedway of the lathe <coughs> and then this little fella is what I've just picked up off a well known uh, <laughs> buying site shall we say which has never been used it's a lovely 1 inch travel imperial micrometer Mitutoya. so that's what's going to be mounted onto there <coughs> And also, when I machine this pocket out of here, I bought some of these little neodymium or whatever you call them, rare earth magnets. And they are as strong as bollocks they are. So, when that's machined out, I'm going to mount three on that face, three on that face. And hopefully that's going to be enough to lock that onto the lathe bed. But we won't know until it's done. So, I've never done any of this filming or anything before, so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, I'm not a machinist, I'm a plumber. So, if all else fails, I'll go fix a boiler or something instead. Right, uh, we'll get it on the mill and then go from there. Right, squared it up. So now, we've got a machined up that part out there 18 mil wide 18 mil down so we'll see how we get it a bit of something doing to it just to tidy it up a bit so what we're going to do we we'll put it back on the mill find the center and then I'm going to put one in the center and the other two a five mil gap between the edge of the middle one I can't actually show you what it will look like because these bloody magnets keep flying all over so one in the middle Drill them 10 mil or mill them 10 mil, and I think I'll seat these about half a mil or 20, 20 thou below the surface. Will I need three in the top? 
Let's see how hot it is. Now. I think what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to put three there like that, evenly spaced, which will grip on the bottom of the V-way on the bedway, and I'm just going to put two in the top. I think that will be plenty. Right, now I'm up back to the mill. See you in a bit. Right, that's where we've got to. I've drilled that end, it bolts onto there. These are machined out ready for the magnets to go in. The dozy pillock that I am, I tried the magnet in there to see if it would fit. <laughs> and it fits really nicely. The only problem is I can't get it back out now to put some glue under it. But anyway, you'll we'll have to figure that one out a bit later. But just putting it on the lathe-ways as it is, with one little magnet in the middle, it actually holds enough old better than what that did so them little tiny wherever they've gone oh there them little near rare earth things are pretty bloody strong so anyway what i'll do i'll just take it apart because well <laughs> it's only one screw but I have to take the dial indicator off it and I'll go around these edges and do something with it because it just looks a little too agricultural at the minute. So I'll just tidy it up and then I'll epoxy those magnets in and that'll be done. And it's a right pain in the arse not look. It's a right pain in the arse not to uh, not having one of these that works well because they are bloody handy. So, anyway, I'll show you what it looks like when I get it finished. And I've chamfered the sides and what have you, and then we'll go from there. But it's now coffee time. See you later. <laughs>